be a complete and utter wooden boss. We're going to be the mighty wooden warrior, my friends. And I think for wooden armor, you have to have... Yeah. I think it has to be like... Actual... Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Like a boss. <laughs> it's a mighty ender warrior. Oh my god. This is fucking terrible. This is fucking terrible. There we go. All right, let's let's store that here. Pretty sure we're gonna die here soon if we're not careful. All right. Mm. Oh, somebody's saying I can make obsidian plates and make it completely unbreakable. Is that true? Let me look. Uh, wrong book. Uh, you know what? Why? We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I don't know if it's true, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Um, I need the I need the plate. Oops, there it is. Pop that out. Let's uh, make the part real quick. We'll do it with you. Uh, actually, we can't, yeah. Why? Oh, we need more stone. There we go. How much stone do you need? Oh, it needs to be smooth stone. All right. How much does it need? We'll put four in there while we're cooking. Uh, it needs eight. Holy shit. Six, seven, eight. All right, we'll put that in there. There we go. Night, Aaron Tanasia. Thanks for swinging by. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Now, Tony, how many um, how many obsidian plates do I have to add? Just one or two? Because if it's two, well, I mean, I guess I can afford it. It's just going to take a while. We can we can handle it. What's up, Pharaohs? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Timmy, I'm not too worried about having them spawn behind me, honestly. Uh, this thing fucking whoops ass. I can pretty much kill anything with it, so I'm not too concerned. All right, they're just saying one obsidian plate will make it unbreakable. I am a little skeptical. All right, there we go. There's our plate. Put that over there. Might as well put you up. We need, how much do we need to, I think we have to cover it with eight aluminum brass. I don't know if I have that much aluminum brass. Uh, bronze, where's our aluminum brass? Oh yeah, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. How much seared bricks do we have? Six. Well, fucking A. I think we just, did another floor on our smeltery. Our smeltery? Alright. So let's, uh... I need to wait till that one more finishes. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, break this. Stop it. There we go. And we're just gonna fill you up. Temporarily. There we go. Uh, and then we'll put all you in here. There we go. All right, so that should have us add another floor. I'm gonna let that run one more time real quick. Uh, we'll put you in here temporarily, just to keep that from, from failing. Uh, fuck, put that there. Uh, go ahead and repair it real fast, there we go, full up. Just waiting on this cobble to go ahead and smelt down real fast. Jaxie, I try. I try. Seven large plates. Holy shit. That is a lot. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough for that. We can try. There it goes. That should be it. So let's put eight in there. Let those cook. Okay. 
we're going to temporarily where's my there it is there we go break this put you down is that just a normal bow or is that some kind of special bow I think it's a normal bow we'll find out here in a second it's a normal bow I'm trashing it it's a normal bow I don't need no normal bows normal bows are crap Fuck off. Alright. So now we got this. Slap that down. We got that. We got eight in there. Let's see how much it takes to make a plate. Did it take all eight? No, it only took it only took one. Oh. It's because it didn't make the damn plate. What the fuck? Oh! It made it in here. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. So, we don't need you anymore, so we'll come and throw you off. There we go. So I'm going to need eight obsidian to make this next part, which is fine. That's not going to be... Really? You're burning the fucking house down again. There we go. Gonna keep from burning everything down. Alright, so I need one piece of... there we go. Where's the water? Oh, yeah, right here. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Oh, it's getting night time. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There we go. Alright, fill these back up, make sure they're cooking the whole way. Let's go sleep. We'll try that here in just a sec. Alright. Got that down. Let's put you down. Let's put eight obsidian in there. That's going to take a minute to cook. Uh, while that's cooking, uh, I do have one more obsidian, so I'm going to go and pay a visit to our mob spawner real fast. Let's see what we got here. I hear a lot of little things in here. All right, break. Uh, it has auto repair now. Kind of defeats the point of making it unbreaking, I guess. Fuck. Ow. Ow, dude. Those wisps are mean, man. Fuck. Holy shit, dude. Alright, so we have auto repair on it now. That almost defeats the whole purpose of putting, uh, of putting, um, what's it on it? On breaking. I mean, if it repairs itself, it, it almost defeats it. Uh, I'm gonna hop in here real quick. Uh, if I recall, Nether Quartz gives it Smite, which is something I do want. So we're going to put it... Oh, it's not repaired. Damn it. Well, I guess I can just wait a second. The nice thing about it having such low durability is they heal so quicker. Or so quickly. 
Um, but it may not be quickly enough. Actually, it's doing pretty quick. That's pretty fast. Yes, I know I need better armor. For me to get better armor, we end up having to grind, unfortunately. Uh, we have to grind hardcore. Uh, we'll have to go and break a bunch of uh, cobblestone into gravel. And then grind the gravel up until we get diamonds. Which is something we can definitely do. It's something we can definitely do. I'm just not sure you guys want to wait around long enough for me to do that. Uh, while we're waiting real quick, let's uh, fill these back up. Because we're going to need all of that. Um, might as well make the obsidian plate. Just for shits and giggles. Might as well. Damn, that's a lot of obsidian. He's out of the servers lagging like a boss. That plate looks badass. Alright. We're full up. It's auto repaired now. Okay. So we put it in here. And if we put quartz on it, that gives it uh, sharpness. So I can do that. Uh, if I put... Where's that plate I just picked up? Oh, the plate got put in. Put in here. There it is. Let's take a look at the plate. Parts can be replaced. Alright, so if we put this here, that gives it reinforced. So, currently... Currently... We're reinforced three. This would give us reinforced one. Um, I just don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. The reason I say that is um, it's a it's a fuck ton of stuff. I mean, it's an absolute fuck ton. We to get unbreaking, we have to hit reinforced ten. Uh, we're reinforced three right now, or four right now? Is that it? No, we're reinforced three. So for me to get the height that we need, we would have to reinforce it uh, seven times. And I don't think we have enough modifiers to do that. Not only that, but we have... Oh, I thought that would make a block. Oh, there it is. Um, oh, shit. I, I just don't think we have the... I don't think we have the resources for that. However, we can do... We can do sharpness, which will give us another, another setup. Hmm. Alright, let me go ahead and start putting this on here. I'm going to put a slip 32 out of 40. And I need to be very careful with how I do this from here on. Uh, I will go ahead and put the unbreaking on there. Just for shits and giggles. Just for, for shits and giggles. Alright, we'll put it on there. Bam. We're at reinforced 4 now. Um, we'll see what happens. There we go. There we go. So we're at reinforced four, and we have smite. Yeah. So I don't know. Burn duration, chance to bad 10%, attack 2.5 hearts, effective durability 68. So, we have a little bit more durability, but it's still kind of weak, I think. Sun's directly overhead. Let's head over there. Alright. Let's take a little bit of food real fast before we open the door. Ah, uh, we just got lifesteal. There's an Enderman. I'm trying to get that fucking Enderman. Got it! Got it! Damn it, we're over we're overburdened. We're overburdened. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh god, dang it, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's the Ender Pearl I need right there. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Easy, 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 easy. Get the ender pearl. Calm down. Calm down. And picked it up. Whoa! We made it. Made it. Bam. Bam. Woo! 
Got it. All right, we don't need these arrows. Fuck you. Don't need these stone shards. Fuck you. Uh, we'll hang on to everything else. Okay. The end of Pearl has been achieved! Yes! Oh my god. Thank you so much. All right, so we got lifesteal on this bitch now. Holy shit. And we have room for improvement now. So we have lifesteal on this bitch. Look at how fast that repair is kicking in. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous! That is ridiculous! Oh my god. So we are at... We're at master level. I don't think we get any more points at this point. Once it hits master level, I think you're, I think you're maxed. So yeah. I don't, I don't think we're going to get anything else. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Some people are like, that's a little over dramatic, man. I mean, it's just an ender pearl. Ah, for me, this is a glorious ender pearl of ownage right here. All right, so with this, there's a lot of different shit we can do. Um, we can make our vacuum hopper. In fact, that's what we're going to do. I don't even give a shit. We're making our vacuum hopper because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of messing with this thing. I'm so tired of messing with this thing. So we're gonna we're gonna go do our vacuum hopper because that's what we've been waiting on. Let's burn all these eggs real quick. Good God, there's so many eggs. There we go. All right, so we got the hopper, we got the ender pearl, and we got the obsidian. So bam, bam, bam. Thank God. Thank God. All right. So let's open our book up. Let's go find that. Uh, we need to... We need to make some... Do we have enough room for that? Let's put you up real quick. There we go. Uh, oh, no. 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 There we go. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, we're going to just take the right bag. There we go. Uh, quarter of a heart. Let's make sure it's not a troll heart. Not a troll heart. Uh, we have another quarter of a heart. So we're going to put those two together. Uh, that'll give us a half heart. Bam. Put that back up. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's an empty box? That's empty. All right. Let's see what we got in our goodie bag. Let's see what we got in our goodie bag. Really? Corn seeds? Really? Really? All of that for fucking corn seeds? Are you- ARE YOU SERIOUS, JADEN?! ARE YOU FUCKING SERIOUS?! <sighs> okay. So now we're getting into the steam dynamo. Now the good news is here, once we hit the, the steam dynamo, uh, that's gonna open up our Invar pickaxe. I forget what we get here. Uh, this is also gonna allow us to get to the pulverizer, which I believe is what this quest is right here. Um, so that's good. That's good. Um, we do have the librarian bookbinder that I think we still need to get. It's also nighttime. I think we can knock out two quests here real fast. Real fast. Uh, De Bear, it's not really that big of a problem. We have a monster spawner now, so we can pretty much go and get as any bone meal we need. I mean, I think I just put in, what, 14 bones? I'm, I'm not really worried about getting bones anymore. Bones are easy. Bones are easy. Yes, uh, I could make an Ender Lily at this point, or I could have made an Ender Lily at that point. Uh, Ender Lilies require farming and take a little bit of time, and with our new badass Uber Weapon of Doom, I'm not really worried about getting in there and getting more Ender Pearls. Uh, it just takes a few minutes. So, just keep spawning them over and over again, and eventually we'll get what we need. Okay, so the Bookbinder uh, is what we need to make now. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up real quick. Book binder. That's right here. So we need two string and two pieces of paper. Uh, I've got the string and we're fixing to have... That's three pieces of paper. All right, so we got our string. Um, I guess it may be in the chest right there. Yeah, there it is. Two string. Okay, so we open this up. We got bam, bam. We got bam, bam. There's the book binder. Open up the book. Claim reward. There we go. We make in progress. Look at this shit. Lickety split. All right. So, 
We've got that complete, so all of this stuff is done. The only thing we're looking forward to now is we need the auto brewer uh, to get further along in that line, uh, which will lead us to the doll. Uh, and then we need the we need some copper. So we're literally gonna have to grind at this point. Now the other option is um, steel power. Now with steel power, we can take, uh, we can get the steel working in you. So we can take the materials in me, pour molten seared stone. That's actually pretty easy. Why don't we do that real quick? Why don't we do that real quick? That's a pretty easy quest and I don't know what it's gonna give me. So uh, this is mighty smelting. This is materials in me. So let's go ahead and take this. And we need seared stone, which is happens to be what we've been grinding this whole time. Uh, so let's take uh, one stack of obsidian, open you up, we'll put you in there. Uh, and then while we're waiting for that to cook real fast, we're going to go ahead and boom, 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 and take the ender hopper, put that there. Go. Just to test it. Yep. Works. Okay. So once we get our pulverizer, we'll be pretty much automated at that point. Uh, good to know, Timmy. I may do that. I may do that. Although we've, we've already got a pretty good... I mean, this tool is pretty badass. It two-shot an Enderman. Uh, you don't get much better than... If you can two to three shot an Enderman, you're pretty much doing it right. I mean, I, I fucking Rick rolled that shit. I gotta make me one of these in Magic Farm, man. This shit is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Fucking loving this shit. Why didn't I just make a vanilla monster spawner on Magic Farm too? Oh my god. Oh well, we're good. We're good. We're gonna we're gonna get some progress done. All right, so here's materials in you, which we're putting down. Uh, wait until this processes. Come on. Is that enough? Yep, seared stone. So we pour that over the top, right? Isn't that what it is? Or is it seared brick? Uh, molten seared stone. Well, that's what that is, right? That's seared stone. Why is it not working? Hmm. Is there not enough of it? Pour molten seared stone over to materials and me book in a casting table to make the steel work guidebook. Well, that's what I've got. Materials and me book. Oh, materials and me, not the materials and you. Materials and you, materials and you. That's the same book. Uh, I'm thinking. We got the wrong book now. Wait, where did the book go? Did you guys see that book disappear? Where the fuck did that book go? Oh, it's probably in my book binder. Yeah, pull it out. There we go. Oh. Oh, God dang it! Paper, okay, paper and a blank pattern. Not a problem. Blank pattern, paper, boom, boom, materials, and you. Alright, let's see if that's the right one. Right, put you down, pour. There we go. Thank God! There we are. Alright, let's go ahead and complete that quest. Manual submit. Manual submit. Still working in you. That's the book. I oh, it's because it's in the book binder again. Stupid book. Manual submit. Claim reward. Oh, pick one. Grave soil, yellorium dust. Graveyard soil or yellorium dust. All right, guys. Yellorium dust or graveyard soil. Okay, let's look up. Graveyard soil. What does that do? Um, Minecraft graveyard soil. 
Graveyard Soil from Tinker's Constructs is made by crafting one dirt with rotten flesh and one bone meal. It heals any undead mobs that work over it. It can be in smelted in a furnace, not smelting to make concentrated soil. Don't really need that. That's easy. What is yellow? What was the other shit? Yellorium or whatever? Yellorium dust. All right, let's look at that. I think Yellorium's the harder one. Yellorium dust. Uh, the only thing I see that is in big reactors. I only see it in... Yeah, I'm going with the yellow or I'm, I'm going with the yellorium, even though I don't know what the fuck it's used for. So that's what we're doing. Alright, let's... That's used in big reactors. Yeah, it's used in big reactors. Holy shit! I didn't know big reactors was in this thing. Fucking hell. Alright. Uh, let me open the reward bag. Oh my god! Oh. This looks a lot cooler than it actually is. This is just a bunch of... Decoration shit. Fuck. I was all excited. I'm like, oh my god, that's a lot of bro stuff. And it's like, oh, it's actually kind of shitty. Alright, so there's nothing bad there. Alright, so boom. Boom. Okay, let's make sure. Let's double check. Consume to get a life. Bam! We're up to seven lives. Ooh. Alright, I'll put you guys in here because you're pretty blocks. I'm going to hang on to that. I'll put that in there as well. Cool beans. So what's next in this one? Uh, high oven hijinks? A high oven is the only thing that can turn iron into steel. It is made out of bricks covered in seared stone to hold in the high temperatures needed for refining steel. Follow the instructions in the Steelworks book to create the blocks needed to make your first oven. So yeah, we have to make the oven controller. High oven controller, scorched drain. So it's basically a, an upgraded version of the smeltery. Steelcraft by the Tinker Society. Uh, preserve sacred art steelwork. We have written this book in a special invisible ink, which is activated on a factor of time. Blah, blah, blah. Discovery steel opens doors to a vast brand new world. Blah, blah, blah. In these pages, high oven will be your threshold in the process. It is smaller than the smeltery you are accustomed to, yet both the method for its construction and general operation are very similar. Good to know. Like the smeltery, the high oven functions as a liquid tank. It is capable of melting metals and more. And like the smeltery, it cannot contain multiple liquids or mix metals into alloys. Mixing materials is key. As time goes on, you will become familiar with oxidizers, reducers, and purifiers. Oh, Jesus. For each layer between the top and bottom layers, more space will be available to cook items within. As multi you will need a smeltery in the following materials. One high oven controller, any combination of 24 scorched bricks or scorched drains or scorched dust. Damn. To begin, lay a 3x3 bed of scorched bricks. Continue laying bricks in a similar fashion upward, but leave the center hollow. Cap it off with one additional 3x3 layer. Just like the bottom, while there are no vertical limits to the size of your oven, it is pointless to build it beyond 8 blocks in height. To place the controller in the middle of any layer you desire. You may place drains anywhere within the structure. The controller must have an active redstone signal to burn fuel. Simply playing a lever anywhere, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so charcoal, so that makes it nice. Um, Maybe used to process any normal metals as a smelter. It cannot be used to create alloys in the traditional sense. Instead, raw component materials must be mixed into the metals as they melt to produce entirely different structural formations. Uh, crystals, wow. Dude, this is going to be fucking ridiculously complicated, I have a feeling. Okay, so we have to mix all of this in there to make steel. Pig iron. Okay. Nether quartz. Um, wow. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Seared stone and brick to get scorched bricks. Scorched bricks is seared stone and bricks. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. So, we basically got to make another fucking smeltery. I mean, even though it's not technically a smeltery, we still have to make one. Um, that should be pretty good. That should be good.